a state law that just went into effect is aimed at addressing Tennessee's doctor shortage. That law, which passed last year, allows international doctors to temporarily practice in the state without having to repeat their residency training. That training often takes years to complete. State Capitol reporter Tori Gessner explains now the potential impact and the good this law could do. Tennessee's prescription for a healthier future starts with more doctors. But experts say right now, the state doesn't have enough to go around. A lot more doctors are retiring than new ones are being produced to replace them. And there are a lot of bottlenecks. Dr. Jeffrey Singer, a practicing surgeon and senior fellow with the Cato Institute, says the monopoly that accredits med schools and residency programs, plus a growing aging population, are contributing to the nationwide doctor shortage. A 2020 study by the National Library of Medicine found Tennessee will be short nearly 6,000 doctors by 2030. Meanwhile, there are licensed doctors from other countries already here, prevented from practicing in the U.S. until they were repeat their residency training, regardless of their experience. They want to be around the health field because this is what they train for and this is what they love to do, but they don't have the, the time or resources to go do it all over again. Why are we letting this talent you know, go to waste. In a quest to find a cure, Tennessee representative and doctor Sabi Kumar sponsored legislation last year allowing international doctors to temporarily practice in the state without having to repeat their residency training. These are qualified uh, physicians who have proven their competency by serving in an approved medical institution as well as taking the exams. After two years of supervision under a hospital with an accredited residency program, they can get their unrestricted license. Tennessee became the first state to pass this kind of law in 2023. Since going into effect this July, many other states have followed suit. Dr. Singer says its impact depends on the number of international doctors in Tennessee who take part, but it has the potential to touch areas that need it most. If there's a big demand in a rural underserved area, then there's more opportunity for them to find work too. So there'll be a much more greater opportunity for underserved areas to get more health care providers in those areas. Reporting in Nashville, I'm Tori Gessner. Now, the law requires those international doctors to be licensed, of course, and in good standing with that licensing board. It also requires them to have practiced for at least three out of the past five years, be U.S. citizens, fluent in English, and there are other requirements.